Just collecting some birch bark. Yeah, start this fire today. Survivor Life sent me one of their ever, ever strike matches slash lighter. We're gonna try it out today. Make us a fire with it. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're back here at the Bushcraft Shelter. Today we're gonna get us a fire started. We're gonna test out a new, couple new uh, pieces of uh, equipment. So here we are. Here's the Survival Life Ever Strike match. We're gonna try this out today. Got some birch bark. Let's see how this thing works. It's windy out, so. And you just blow it out. Actually, very handy. Set up a hammock today in here so I can sit and relax by the fire. Cook me something again. I didn't. I don't have nothing to cook on. I'm making some redneck bushcraft uh, <laughs> grill, if you call it. If you want to call it that. I just set them on there and put them over top of here and cook them. Yes, I should. I have to do a little bit more planning next time. Then I think I'm also going to go uh, make some spruce berry tea. I have a runny nose. We're gonna walk down to the creek and get some water for the pine tea. And wash my plate off and get some water for put this fire out later. It's a nice day out today. A little chilly but nice and bright. Dry compared to yesterday. So my lunch is almost done. So when this is done, we're gonna take us a walk, spoil her a little bit, it's the water. I'm going to put my pine needles in there and boil this up for some tea. Pine tea going on. A couple pork chops for lunch out here at the bush camp, bush crab camp. Got the hammock out today. And we're going to go scout out another place to uh, do a camp, probably for a solo overnighter. Uh, 
time. Let's try it out. Mm. Bam, son. Guess who that is? Bam, son. So after this fire burns down some, we're going to take a walk back in the woods a little bit. We're either going to look for a spot to set up a hunting blind, that or another spot to build a camp for an overnighter. With this pine tea, I put it under there because it was windy and I didn't want ash oil in it. But we're going to mix, we're going to make some coffee, got some sugar packets, I'm trying to make me a little drink. Cause I'm not feeling too good. Put it back in the boil for a little bit longer. And we'll be good to go. are perfect for a fire starter. They take a spark from a ferro rod real easy. And there you go. This was actually my first bushcraft purchase. First one I learned to make a fire with. Pretty handy little tool. It looks like the tea's done. So let's go and take it off. So this tea's been cooling. Made my own little handle where you can hang it and stuff. But this is uh, pine tea. Yeah, not bad. So this is what I'm taking on the little out with me. I got binoculars, shovel, knives, fire stills. I got pretty much everything that you would need for a day hike in here. I'm also going to take my bow with me. See if we can see any squirrel or anything. Or just target practice. Right now we're just taking a walk to find my old camp. Ooh, 
very first camp I ever made. Right there at the base. made this in the fall and when I made it I had it piled up with branches and leaves and the whole thing was covered Sun's starting to set, it's starting to get a little bit chilly out. Take you some lint and put in here. And if they're dry, you can make fire. that started this channel was because my stepfather Larry Nichols he was real big into the outdoors and when I was gone he passed away so he never got to see that I turned around and straightened my life up so I started this Haggard Outdoors channel Got this uh, flashlight that a buddy gave to me. I'm not sure what kind it is, but I'll look it up and I'll let you guys know. Uh, it's a Bushnell lithium ion, and there's diff three different settings. There's the bright, which it's real bright. We got the low light, and we have the SOS flashlight, but we'll take this out and we'll try it when it gets dark. So as you can see, it's pitch black. So now we're going to try how our Bushnell flashlight this is on low. High. 